Firstly, I would like to explain for you what is the difference between European knife and the Japanese knife. European knife, both sides, gradually grinding like this, and finally grinding like this. Okay? They said this is very good for European foods. Okay? And some guy said this is a European culture. Okay? I agree. But we are Japanese. We are always slicing, slicing, slicing. So we need a little bit of sharper knife. So we are gradually grinding like this. So our knife is, if compared to their knife, okay, our knife is much thinner. So a little bit sharper than their knife. Okay. So this is very good for Japanese food. Okay. I would like to say that this is a Japanese culture. So we are absolutely no necessary to discussing which is better because different culture. In case of the European knife, okay, they are mainly sharpening the knife by steel, just like that. Like this. So they can only sharpen the point because the point of the blade is only touching for sharpener. Okay. So even sharpening the knife by steel, okay, one or two days later, again, you must be de-sharpening the knife because it's a just for point to sharpening. Okay. But what then, if you sharpen the knife by stone, okay, can you see here? Okay, one or two millimeter, both sides. I would like to say this is a face sharpening by stone. So if you're sharpening like that, you can use six months without sharpening. So stone sharpening is absolutely number one. Before you start, okay, please soak in the water 10 or 15 minutes. Okay, please watch here. Okay, bubble is coming up. Can you see bubble? Okay, bubble is must be stopped. It's a take the 10 or 15 minutes, depend to the size of your stone. If you want to sharpen the knife by stone, your stone is must be flat. If it's a hollow, no chance to sharpen the knife. Okay? So if I have a time, I always I adjust it by another stone, just making the flat. Knife is very dangerous. Okay? So the way you are sharpening the knife, always please tightly grip like this. Don't grip just handle because you are very difficult to keeping the same angle. Okay? It's not only the stone sharpening, steel sharpening, the same thing. If you want to sharpen the knife, you must be keeping the same angle, same degree. Okay? So in case of the stone, it's the same thing. Just like this. We are recommended you to keeping the angle between 10 or 15. Okay? So how to keep the 15th point? Okay? So I tightly grip like this. Okay? This is my 15 here. Okay? After I fix 15, okay? three finger is just for soft touch. Okay? I just push it just like that. I just push it just like that. Your stone is always making the same sound for you. Okay? So please listen the sound from the stone. Okay? Can you hear the different sound? I change the angle. Okay? It's a no good. Don't worry, we are introducing the guide rail for you. Small guide rail is matching the small blade. But can you see here, four knife. Four knife is, blade is so small, so no chance to using guide rail. Okay? 
Big one is matching the big break, just like that. I always recommended you to sharpen from top into the bottom, one time. But if you clip like that, can you see? Okay? If I push here, lot of the space here. Okay? And if I push here, sorry, like this, okay? you can see lot of the space. So you are nearly very difficult to sharpen from top into the bottom. Why? Okay? Because this guide rail is looking straight, but blade is looking this side. So I recommended you to keep the parallel, just like that. Okay? So keep the parallel, blade and the guide rail. So can you see here? You can sharpen from top into the bottom. Sound is exactly the same. This guide rail is better than my technique, very unfortunately. Can you see here? This is a wet powder from the stone. Looks is very dirty, but please do not wash because your knife is not sharpened by stone. Your knife is sharpened by wet powder, similar like your hand cream. So the no power required. Firstly, I recommend that if you feel the shortage of the water on the stone, please few drop, I said. If you are there like that, you may lose the very important wet powder from the stone. Okay? So just like that. And just all continue. That's But you are quite easy to get to the bird from here to here because nearly straight. But this part is quite difficult because slightly curved. But also this part is most important as a knife. So in such a case, I recommend it like this without the guide rail. Just for same grip like this and just for If you have a burr from top into the bottom, okay, this outside nearly finished, okay. So you better to change the hand just like that, and slightly push, and just warm. After thirty or thirty-five stroke later, again you better to check where is the burr, where is the burr, where is the burr. Okay? If you reconfirm the bar from top into the bottom, okay? again you better to change the hand, just like that. Please repeat four or five times. If both sides is smooth, your knife is okay. <laughs>